guys, it's Madison. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because I feel like it's been way too long since I've made a sit down video for you guys. So, as some of you may know, about a week ago, Penelope and I competed in our last, also we think, as our last hunter jumper show of the season. At least it was a quadra, which is Colorado Western Hunter Jumper Association. Just, um, it was their last show of the season. And it was the year end show. And I thought I'd just do an overview for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get on into the video. So like I said, this is our last show of the season, or um, quadra show. Um, it was their year-end show, so basically everything was worth more more points, they had more classes of everything, they had the medal finals, all that stuff, but Penelope and I competed in the 2 for 9 children's jumpers. Either way, it was our second time doing jumpers together, or it was her second time doing jumpers ever, and I think she really liked it. She was such a champ and did so well, and I'm so proud of her. This was the first time she ever won some sort of reserve or grand champion in any type of hunter jumper show because before I got her she'd never done anything like in the hunter jumper sh world. She'd done some dressage and a little bit of eventing so I'm very proud of her and she loves her job so much. So if you guys want um, stay tuned because I will have raw videos from the show posted on my vlog channel and if they aren't already I don't need to figure out when that's going public. Either way yeah so so yeah we got a first second and a third ended up as ended us up in reserve champion so we won first in the optimum time um we had one rail but everyone had rails in that division and our time was the fastest so well closest optimum time optimum time was 65 seconds which was pretty fast i had 69 um my trainer competed in the level ones and i also had the same optimum time and she got 75 or something like that so, and we were going so fast, and like my trainer's kind of mad at me because I was going too fast. But either way, we were going so fast, we still were like four seconds away from optimum time. Either way, we won that, so I'm very happy with that. Let's see, we got second in the table 2B, which basically means you. No, that wouldn't make sense. We must have gotten third in the table 2B. So, um, because the table 2B it didn't make the jump off because I had a rail in there so that's just basically like if you go um clear in the main course like no stops or rails you get to go to the jump off and then from there whoever was clear and had the fastest time wins so we got third there because we didn't make the jump off not that many people were making jump offs so yeah we got second in the table to b which we made it to the jump off and we won the jump off time wise, but then we had a rail, but then everyone else had rails. So if that makes sense, we got second. So either way, we got reserved. I'm very, very proud of my pony. Um, it wasn't quite as smooth, I'd say, as our last jumper show. Um, out of all the rails I've ever had in my entire life or at shows on Penelope, I've only ever had two rails, like total. Um, and now that is up to five because I had a rail in each of my courses. Um, Optimum time, a rail and the jump off, and then the rail on the table to be, which is why I didn't make the jump off. So as far as that goes, I'm not super happy about that. There were two of the three rails are my fault, which means like basically the other rail she hit with her back legs, which there's normally not a ton that the rider can do about that. Um, but the other two rails are because I gunned her into the fence and I dropped her shoulders and let her hang her knees. So that was my fault, and you know. You move and learn on. <laughs> you learn and move on. I said that wrong. Sorry about that. But um, I'm so, so happy with her. We are, you know, she loves her job. And I'm so proud of her. And like I said, Ross will be posted on my other video. Yeah, shout out to the rest of the Pika Question game. Shout out to Molly because if I remember, I will put her channel down below in the description. She got reserve. No, she got grand champion, I think, in Flower Power and Pepper. Addy also went to the show. Shout out to you. Who else went? Alden went, if you're watching this. I love you guys, good job! And, yeah. Anyways, um, next up we have Colorado Horse Park Horse Trials in, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's next week. Ah! Oh, we are hoping to make it a better show. I have not really been talking about the shows other than on my Instagram, my blog and stuff. But I really am here because we have tried four times at eventing shows. We've only made it through cross country once. 
We've been eliminated twice in our attire last time basically because she is very reluctant to moving off my leg and she gets very nervous in those situations and like show situations and she's very herd bound so when we're running away from the group like running up a hill galloping away from her friends to the warm up arena into an unknown area where she's already kind of nervous and she's heading up to a jump that she's not 110% confident in we're gonna have run out there. She's not gonna listen to my leg. She's not gonna be for it. She basically will halt, like slam on the brakes and start rearing and spinning. And if I tap her with my crop, she just backs up even faster. So I haven't been really, it's been difficult for me to kind of have the motivation and things like that to post videos of us getting eliminated or if I didn't even have videos of show jumping or, you know, we get eliminated at the fourth or fifth fence on cross country. It's just kind of like, oh, I don't know why you wouldn't watch that or anything, so I thought I'd just kind of talk about that now. But, um, actually after the last show they weren't allowing, um, courtesy rounds for people who weren't anything but technically eliminated. But they did open up the cross country course, which actually worked in our favor at first. I was kind of upset about it because show jumping's our best and I wanted to kind of end in a positive note. But they let us go school the entire competition course, which the Carter Horse Parks competition course is not open to school. Um, except for this time apparently. And so they had the EMTs out there and you could legitimately start at the start box. So we like started, we went through the start box and did our entire course like... It was just, a, it was a show setting and we put spurs on her, which she's so feisty and so crazy, but I'm very happy that we did because it's not really to be mean, it's just more like there if I need it. And after I used him once, she was like, oh, okay, I know what I'm doing now, you know, and she kind of, you kind of like threaten her with it, like say, this is here if it needs to be used, but I'm not going to use it unless you need it, you know. So you put your leg on, if she doesn't listen, that's when you, you know, turn your toes out and put your spur on and kind of, you know, get her to move forward, but, um, I am really excited for that, so guys, wish us luck because, like I said, I, I don't really care about placings or anything. I care about our dressage improvement because that has come so far, our dressage has come so far, and I just want to keep making progress. Um, our last show was the first time we went through dressage, it's the first time we were on the correct gate the entire time. That's it's not something you're proud of, but I'm very proud of it. Little, little pony, she's just so feisty that she can't contain her energy. But um, yeah, so we were on the correct gate the whole time, so I'm very happy with that. And I'm just like, we're slowly making progress and we're no longer dead last. So I'm just excited about that. And please wish us luck. If this goes well, we might be going to Skyline in October, which is Area 9 Championships. If we don't call her, which I'd be very surprised if we did, but you know. Knock on wood, things can happen, maybe we'll magically qualify next week, but um, we may or may not go to Skyline, I'd probably just do the Open Division just because I don't know if I want to go straight from having such like an, I, I'd want to make it a positive experience, you know, um, so, <sighs> anyways, this is a long video, I'll probably edit it right now, it's at like 10.30, knowing me it'll probably only get out at like 9.30 or something, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I love you all so much, and I'll see you all in my next one, if you have any video suggestions, leave them down below for me, and I will see you guys later, peace out, I love you, bye!